Hello guys, how are you? In this video, we are going to explain create variables and arguments and invoke workflows. At first we need to create a new project. Please give a name as the project name and the project description. After you click the create button it will take few seconds to restore project dependencies and settings. The default activity packages are UiPath Excel, Mail, System Activities and UI Automation Activities. This will automatically create project folder setup within default dependencies. Now we have created a new blank project. We can see project folder structure through the studio. Go and click project on the left side corner. Then open main.xmal. Here you can see the activity panel studio left side corner. There are more activities in this panel. You can install more activity packages using Manage Package in the top ribbon. Let's start with Message Box Activity. To get activity you can search in left activity panel or click the plus mark in the middle of screen then search bar will appear to the search. Now we have message box activity in our workflow. Here we can type any text you want to display within quotes. Let's run the workflow by clicking run file button. Now you will see the result. Let's we try the same thing by using a string variable. To do that we will use the assign activity. Then you have to create new string variable here, you can create variable in variable panel or by pressing Ctrl plus K in this activity here, by default will create a string variable but if you want change it to integer, float, boolean etc, then you can do this from variable panel. We got the same result. Let's create a new integer variable. I created a variable name call number. When we are creating a new variable by pressing Ctrl plus K by default it will be a string. Now we are going to change this variable type to integer. For that go to the variable panel and change the variable type. Great now we have two variables. We are going to concatenate both and showing in a message box. One variable is the string another one is the integer. In here we have a problem because in message boxes we can only put the text value. Then we have to convert that integer variable to string before concatenate. We use toString method for that. Yes, we got the correct result. Now let's see how to create argument, import argument and invoke new workflow to the main workflow.
Let me create a new sequence. To do that, click New, select Sequence, give a name to the sequence as you prefer. I will give arguments underscore demo is the name of it. Okay, now we have new sequence. You can create a sequence or flowchart. It doesn't matter. Let's go back to the main workflow. Now I am going to create a new variable name call, out message and assign it values as the message we wrote in the message box. After that we remove the message box from main workflow. Now I want that out message variable pass to my new sequence. For that we have to create new argument in argument panel of the our sequence. To invoke workflow to the main workflow we use the invoke workflow activity. Please follow the step and try yourself. Great, we got the result. We will see in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and leave a comment with your ideas. Don't forget to subscribe the channel.